Man UTD look set to have a busy last 48 hours in the transfer window to cap off what has been quite a significant transfer window. Everyone wondered what would be different under Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Dan Ashworth has ensured he left no stone unturned to bolster the squad. For any club, a summer of signing Joshua Zerxi, Lenny Yoro, Matisse De Ligt, Nusser Mazraoui and Manuel Ugarte will be considered a huge success. Eric Ten Hag has been given the perfect arsenal at his disposal to continue building the project. It looks like Man UTD could add to this roster. We covered a story earlier today revealing that Dan Ashworth was acting as the driving force behind bringing Raheem Sterling to Old Trafford from Chelsea and that the player was willing to make this switch. Now, as per Give Me Sport, Man UTD are ready to agree to a £7.8 million per year deal to bring Sterling to Man UTD this summer. The player is aware that he won't be a regular starter for Eric Ten Hag but he will get his opportunities. This works out to around £150,000 per week for Sterling, which is a steep downgrade from the £325,000 per week he earns currently on his Chelsea contract. What Man UTD are offering isn't even half of what he is earning currently. Sterling will have to accept the fact that he is a squad player at Man UTD and agree to this wage cut to make this transfer happen. To be honest, the 29-year-old does not have a leg to stand on after a couple of indifferent seasons with Chelsea. What Sterling comes in with is a proven pedigree of knowing how to win the Premier League. His form might not have been great but so has Chelsea's performances and a move to a new club might give the 29-year-old the opportunity to make a fresh start. Should Man UTD get this signing over the line, Sterling would have the unique distinction of having played for Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea and Man UTD. Let's see if the experienced winger completes his move to Old Trafford before the deadline ends tomorrow. Chelsea could do business with Manchester United before the transfer deadline on Friday evening, according to reputed journalist Fabrizio Romano. The Blues have an interest in signing Jadon Sancho from the Red Devils and it was recently reported that they could negotiate a swap deal involving Raheem Sterling. However, United do not appear keen on that possibility. Chelsea are still aiming to sign Sancho in a separate deal, and Romano confirms that talks are ongoing. He wrote on X, Chelsea are currently talking to Man United for Jadon Sancho in a separate deal from Victor Osimhen. Both deals are still being negotiated, while Al Ali have met with OC men's agents today in Italy. United could prefer permanent Sancho exit. Sancho managed to sort out his differences with manager Eric Ten Hag earlier this summer and he was a regular starter for United during the whole of preseason. However, he has yet to make a league appearance this term. The 24-year-old was a late substitute in the Community Shield against Manchester City where he missed a penalty in the shootout. Sancho has since failed to make the matchday squad against Fulham and Brighton in Hove Albion. This is a clear indication that Ten Hag does not fancy him anymore. United value the winger at around £40 million and we believe the club should offload him permanently. The club may struggle to receive such a huge transfer fee on deadline day. An alternative option would be to send him on loan with an obligation to buy next summer. It does not make sense to offload him on a straight loan considering his transfer value could drop further, should he fail to impress during his temporary stint at a new club. Sancho reportedly prefers to join Chelsea over Juventus. We won't be surprised if United strike an agreement with the Blues in the final hours of the transfer window. Alan Shearer tells Man UTD who they need to target in final hours of transfer window. Manchester United have been linked with a move for Brentford's Ivan Tony this summer but the B's striker remains in West London with less than two days of the transfer window remaining. Alan Shearer believes Manchester United should look to sign Brentford striker Ivan Tony before the end of the transfer window. Tony has been left out of each of the B's matchday squads so far this season as Thomas Frank prepares for the forward to be sold before the end of the month. The 28-year-old has entered the final year of his contract and shown no inclination to extend his deal. The ex-Peterborough United star has been linked with Arsenal, Manchester United and Chelsea in recent months but no offer has appeared forthcoming. Recent weeks have opened up the possibility of a transfer to the Saudi Pro League. Newcastle United legend and BBC pundit Shearer believes Tony would immediately improve the Red Devils. 
The Premier League's top goalscorer reckons that ensuring Bruno Fernandes and Mason Mount do not have to play as false nines during the absence of Rasmus Hoyland would be beneficial. I like Ivan Tony, Shearer told Betfair. I think he can do a really good job for someone, he's an excellent player. Obviously, he knows the Premier League, he knows what it's about and he's proven at that level. He's an England international too. He only has one year left on his contract, and I understand why some players would want to go to Saudi Arabia, but for someone like him who's in the prime of his career, he's got another four or five years ahead of him and I would hope that he stays in English football because I think he has a lot to offer. I am slightly surprised that Man United haven't inquired about him. Maybe they have, maybe there's something brewing behind the scenes that we don't know about, but I think he did pretty well at Old Trafford. I thought they were poor in forward areas against Brighton and without Hoyland, I know they've signed Xerxy, but they're playing Bruno Fernandes and Mason Mount as two false nines and up to now, I'm not sure that's worked for them. They got the goal from Xerxy against Fulham and then just the one last week so it hasn't quite clicked for them yet in forward positions, and I think Ivan Tony would be a really good option for them. Thomas Frank resisted discussing the future of Tony following his side's win over Colchester United. Similar stand to yesterday. I am not speaking about Ivan, he said. I want to speak about the 21 lads in the dressing room who did well to get through to the next round of the Carabao Cup against a Colchester team who deserve a lot of praise and made it difficult for us. United want to register the 23-year-old by midday to be available for Sunday's home game against Liverpool, especially with Mason Mount ruled out for a month with a hamstring injury. The two club agreed on a fee on Monday night after United's Jason Wilcox headed to Paris to finalize negotiations. Wilcox was joined in the French capital by Matt Hargreaves, the club's director of player negotiations. Ugarte has not featured in either of PSG's first two games of the new League One season, having made it clear that he wants to join United. The midfielder is set to become Eric Ten Hag's fifth signing of the summer transfer window. The Dutchman has brought in striker Joshua Zerksi, center halves Matthijs de Ligt and Lenny Yoro, and fullback Nusser Mazraoui so far, focusing predominantly on bolstering United in defensive areas. United defender Rhys Bennett has joined Fleetwood on loan while Scott McTominay will be announced as a Napoli player today. The move to Italy will bring an end to the Scotsman's 22-year association with the club having come through the club's youth ranks. The 27-year-old enjoying his best goal-scoring season last term with 10 across all competitions. As the summer transfer window enters its final stages, clubs across Europe are scrambling to secure their desired targets and fine-tune their squads for the upcoming season. In a recent development, an Italian club has reportedly expressed interest in signing one of Manchester United's defenders, adding to the flurry of activity in the closing days of the window. On the other hand, Manchester United has already made significant strides in the transfer market, completing their fifth signing of the season with the acquisition of Manuel Ugarte from Paris Saint-Germain, a player long identified as a dream target by the club. With Ugarte now in the squad, United is also considering offloading players who are not deemed essential to Eric Ten Hag's long-term plans. One such player, born in Vasteras, has been consistently linked with a move away from Old Trafford. Despite being a candidate for departure throughout the summer, no deal has yet come to fruition. Lazio inquire about Victor Lindelof. According to a report by Gianluca Di Marzio, Serie A side Lazio are keenly interested in signing Manchester United's defender Victor Lindelof to strengthen their defensive ranks. The Swedish international, who drastically fell from United's first team rank, has reportedly become the prime target for the Italian giants as the ongoing transfer window stands on the brink of its closure. Lindelof joined the English club from Benfica back in 2017 and cost the men in reds for 35 million euros. He has earned 68 international caps so far. Largely a backup at Old Trafford, the arrival of Matthijs de Ligt and Lenny Yoro has done his chances of securing regular game time no favours. Italian giants show interest in signing 30-year-old Manchester United star. With Victor Lindelof's contract at Old Trafford set to expire in 2025, Manchester United might be inclined to part ways with the Swedish defender if a suitable agreement can be reached between all parties involved. 
Lindelof's situation has been complicated by a toe injury, which has kept him out of training for more than three weeks, limiting him to just two halves of football during United's preseason campaign. Given Manchester United's strong defensive lineup, featuring stars like Matthijs De Ligt, Lissandro Martinez, and Nusser Mazraoui, Eric Ten Hag and his coaching staff may consider it a prudent move to let Lindelof go. With a wealth of defensive talent already at the club, United has ample options to cover any potential departure.